We are to Lovecraft Country, the finale. Let's take a look Ooh. at the trailer, ladies and gentlemen, and see what we can find to break down because every episode of Lovecraft Country has taken it to another level. You were just when you think, how can this get better? How can this get it better? It just does. It just keeps getting better each and every yeah. episode. So I think the finale could be crazy. But take a look at the trailer for episode 10. Damn risky. Look what we've been through to get here. Time. Whoa. Why did you do it? I hope you'll forgive me for this one last secret. Oh, what 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 was under what was in the barn, Larry? Did you see that barn light? He's talking about one more secret. Whoa, oh, I'm so up, man. I can't even whoa, wait. Whoa, what was what was oh, in the man, barn? It's gonna be so good. Man, we Larry, we actually might have to hook up and go live 10 o'clock that night. Now I say yeah. that, but then I look at my daughter and be like, she's like, Daddy, really. You might have to get her a high chair. You might have to get her a high chair and sit her right there next to the helmet. Man, no. Have her, have her what she thinks about it. We, we, I'm going to have to do something, man, because, Larry, I, I can't even put into words the thoughts going through my brain about what could be going on. So it looks like it looks like it's about to be an all-out war between Christina, T, Letty, and Montrose. And the, the wild card is what the hell is Ruby going to do? And then that yeah, little, what is that, gonna do? What is Ruby gonna do? And then that scene on the bridge with all the people surrounding them. And let us not forget, Hippolyta transformed into something from holding yeah. that time portal open. So I know she's got some kind of enchantment or some some new powers. Larry, speak on it, man. I can't. And she wait. was there. We saw her with the blue hair. She was there on the bridge with him. So right. she's about to. Yeah, she might. She might be right up in there to whoop some butt. I don't know what she's gonna do, but we know she's powerful. We know that because she was able to pull that portal open. So we know she can do some damage. So, and I'm curious to know if if Christina has the power to take away that that um that invulnerability of Letty because Letty, if she's invulnerable, can just go through just taking people out like on that bridge all she has to do is tell tick and hippolyta stay alive and i'll just kill the rest of them because they can't hurt her i think you I, know Larry, here's the christina has like christina got so many powers and in all honesty i'm sure she can take that power away from letty but the thing is they still haven't let atticus go in with his powers he's got powers too yeah, he's got powers. I think he doesn't even realize that he has because that whole thing is his birthright. I think he has right. natural born powers right. that he just doesn't know how to access. Exactly. I, that's why, and that's why I think the problem is going to come in when, when Christina tries to sacrifice him. I don't think it's going to happen. Even if he goes in there willingly, we see him on that altar thing. I don't think it's going to go down because I don't think Christina is going to be able to – I think something's going to happen with the powers that he has, and Christina doesn't have enough power to overcome mm -hmm. that. Yeah, and she's already said they've only been able to decode like one page of the book of Adam, so they don't that like all the spells and everything they have is from like just that one little bit they've decoded. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you get if you get you know Atticus able to really decode the whole book, boy, I now, mean, who knows how powerful he's gonna be? Now, what could happen if Tick can use the book of names? Once Letty opens it, what if he can use that to channel some powers or some spells and conjure up some things? Do you think they would tie that as a tie-in? Somehow. Somehow. I can't imagine they wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine they wouldn't. You know, it's going to be interesting to see how all this goes down. I, I, I'm wondering if, I'm wondering at the very end of this, I don't, I don't know if they're going to get rid of Christina. I feel like I, I don't really want to see her go because I kind of like her as a villain because you never really know where she's at, where her mm -hmm. mind is. Like sometimes you feel like she may have good intentions, but she has bad intentions overall, but she's sort of like, I'll do good by you so I can ultimately get what I want. But so you know she's still bad. But I wonder, I got so part of me doesn't want her to see her go as a villain because she's such a good villain. But part of me feels like if you kill her off, it frees this whole series up for a new villain to come next season that they can work with. But she's kind of like Thanos. She's kind of like Thanos to some degree. To um, some degree, yeah. To some but degree. I, really, I think it's going to be Ruby that takes her out. And the reason what? why is I think that I think it's going to come down to Ruby having to make a choice between Christina and Letty, and she's not going to let her sister get killed. 
So I think it's going to be Ruby that ends up taking out Christina. And the other reason why I think that is, is because Ruby actually, uh, Christina actually likes Ruby. Like it may have started off where she was using her and she still may be using her to a degree, but she actually likes Ruby. And as we know, no good deed goes unpunished. And she seems to be doing all kinds of great deeds for Ruby. And I yeah, think she's going to she, punish for it. I think she likes Ruby, but she doesn't like Ruby enough that she's going to sacrifice. She's, she's going to let Ruby come between her and her ultimate goal of getting Teak's blood and reaching her full power and immortality. If Ruby, no, stands I don't think, I don't, no, I don't, I agree with you. And I don't think she's going to let Ruby do that. I think she, I think where the problem is, is she's going to let Ruby be close to her because she likes Ruby. And I think what's when Ruby's close to her, Ruby's then going to have the opportunity to kill her, which I think she's going to have to, because she's going to have to make that choice between Christina and her sister. But and here's the problem. How, how, how is Ruby going to kill her? What powers does Ruby have to kill? You've seen what they've done to Christina in episode eight. They shot her. They stabbed her. They put barbed wire around her neck, tied it to concrete, threw her ass in the ocean. And within three seconds, she pops out the lake. Yeah, I don't know. That was that was deep, though. Boy, that it was, was it like... Was, wasn't it crazy? That was crazy, it, man. Because what, what do you say? You have no idea what the, what that experience is like. And she was like, you're right, I don't. So mm -hmm. I want to experience it. And I was like, damn. But and the she, crazy thing is, even though she experienced it, you, she never really experienced it because she knew there was no real finality to her, to her exactly. action. She knew exactly. she was going to live. Mm -hmm. So she may have experienced the, the pain of it, the, the physical pain of it. Right. And, but she didn't really experience the psychological pain of it because she knew she was going to live. But mm -hmm. just the idea of willing to go through that so you can have a better understanding of something was, I mean, is is deep and is twisted. And but but, but. it al it also supports your your narrative, Larry, of her having deep feelings for Ruby because yeah. the reason she done that was because Ruby said you don't know what that feels like, and she went through it. Right. You know, and so I, I yeah, I, I think that I think ultimately I think Ruby's gonna end up killing uh killing Christina. I think I, that's what's gonna happen. I don't see it like that, man. I, I I I mean I'm I'm fine if they do, but I think there's gonna be some disappointed people if they allow Christina to be taken out by Ruby. I don't see why you would be disappointed because there is a love connection in there. And you've right. got one person who's being torn between a lover and her family and one person being torn, torn slightly between lover and power. These are classic right. scenarios. We've seen the same right. thing when Thanos had to pick between his favorite daughter and the Infinity Stone. He chose the stone. Right. And now we're going to have to see Ruby make a choice between her lover, who has these powers, or her sister, who is pregnant with Atticus's son who is mm. also going to have powers and is going to have a certain birthright of powers. So Larry, I don't know, man. I'm, I, man, I just can't wait. I, uh, I, it's going to be good. I can't it's going to be good. But I still think Ruby's going to kill her because I think what's, hey, we already know that Ruby doesn't care anything about Atticus. She's already said, I don't care about him. You know, every time he, he's getting you in trouble and this and that, but she cares about Ruby. I mean, she cares about Letty, and I think what's when Letty tries to to save Atticus and Christina, you know, goes after uh, Letty to try and stop her from saving Atticus. I think that's going to put Ruby in that position where do I save my sister or do I let her get killed? And I think she's going to save her sister. So, we, and we'll see. What well, a big shout out to my people, Brandon from Just My Opinion Reviews. He's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to his channel. He always get Lovecraft reviews up before any of us do because he's one of them. I hate to say it, Larry, but you know what he, he is. He's one of those, he's he's one of those special, special Negroes. Negroes. <laughs> he's one of those special Negroes that they send stuff to. Yeah. <laughs> him and Sharonda, they're, they, they are those special. Uh -huh. And they do that, but they're special, ladies and gentlemen, because they do damn good jobs on their reviews. Yeah. They work hard, show the brothers some love. And check we out. Might, we might, we might have to do it. We might have to do a special show, a special episode called the Special Negro Segment, and bring them on. Just we'll bring all the special Negroes on. Yeah, man, <laughs> it's, it's hard. It's hard to catch them, man, because they all so busy. I would, love I, know. To, I would love to get Brandon, um, Sharonda, 
and my man E all up here to do something um, for this Lovecraft finale. I might inbox everybody and see if they can make it happen Wednesday, Wednesday or Monday, because I would love man. to hear all these great people's opinions about the finale. Man, I was talking to Sharonda. I was talking to Sharonda one day and I was saying, she was like, oh, I'm so busy. You know, it's hard sometimes. She was like, I have all these episodes to watch. I'm trying to watch, you know, these first four episodes of the new Tommy Power thing and try and get this. It's just too much. And I was like, she didn't really say the time you want, but she was saying something about something. And I was like, you complaining about having to watch a show that's not even out yet. You know? How <laughs> hey. about being busy because you got to watch a show that's not even out yet. I was like, I'll tell you what, you send it over to me. I'll watch and do the review and I'll send you the files so you can post it up on there. I can be your special guest. Look, man, you, you, you know you're a YouTuber and you know they send you so much crap that you don't be having time to review and you want things reviewed <laughs> On a they really do, schedule, you know what I'm saying? Like you got yeah. certain things you want to be done, um, you know, next week that you don't want to wait to the following week. Like yeah. these iPhone 12s, they about to hook us up with, cause your boy, you know, your boy, your boy be on that drinking water, baby, talking that negotiation. That's nice. You know, like these iPhone 12s, they about to send us for you to review. If I can keep Ooh. working on my my Lovecraft magic, you gonna, be sweet. you're gonna have to fit that into the schedule. You know what I'm oh, saying? That's going, that's going to the top of the list. Every everything else is getting bumped back. Hey, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> everything else is getting bumped back. <laughs> <laughs> My man said everything else is getting bumped back if he can get the, the you know? Yeah, man. But in all honesty, Larry, sum up the way you want this finale to be. Um, because everything has been so good. Would you be disappointed if the finale didn't have the punch the rest of the season had. Sum it up for us. Man, I want to see Hippolyta on that bridge, and I want to see her turn into storm before there was even a storm, because they're like in the 1950s. I want her to be the precursor to storm and start shooting lightning bolts out of her fingers and everything else. I want to see her just go straight ham on people. And then I want to see – I want to see – um I want to see Hippolyta – I mean, not Hippolyte. I want to see. Uh, I want to see Ruby really mess with Christina's head and do some straight gangster stuff, like take that serum what? and transport, transform herself into something like her dad, Ooh. or transform herself into some, or transform herself into Christina herself. Do Ooh. something totally crazy and then kill Christina. Oh. Like I would love to see Ruby transform herself into Christina and, and kill Christina. And then Atticus and Letty and them are like ready to kill her because they think she's Christina. And then all of a sudden she peels off all that crap, all that, mm -hmm. that Christina skin and it comes out as Hippolyta. And then, and then you, you're left with this confusion. Is it, I mean, not Hippolyta, it comes off and it's Ruby. Then you're left with this confusion. Is it really Ruby? Or is it Christina fronting as Ruby, exactly. fronting as Christina? Exactly. You know? I was going to say that. It would be so lit if they have it where we think it's Ruby, but then they look into her eyeball, look into her soul, and it's really Christina fronting as Ruby because I like Christina. I've been singing the, the praises of Christina since <laughs> so <laughs> But she had that brim hat. I've been telling you. I like that. Christina too, but she scares me. She looks like she should be part of the third right. <laughs> that's what helps. That's that's what helps. And that's I really scary. I don't want to see her go. But, Larry, I think that you could do another season with her around and bring in an even more powerful um, adversary, if you will, and have Christina doing the beating of this adversary only to try to double-cross that adversary. So you don't per se have to get rid of her, I don't think, to still have a good new season with a new adversary, and I can't wait. But before we even move on, let me just say this before people jump in my DMs. We have mentioned, mentioned Misha Green in past videos. We just didn't on Monday, but nobody's taking anything away from her and what she has done for this and for the underground. She did both shows. Now we've given a lot, we gave a lot of props to JJ Abrams and Jordan Peele. But when we first started talking about the show, all we talked about was Misha Green. So if you're new to my channel, please go back and watch some of those videos because we did sweat her job back in those days we just didn't know the last video and this moment is for you guys misha green you're brilliant 
There you go. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm looking forward to seeing what, what comes out of that mind. <laughs>